What up, Kenny Bogus? Taste this. Welcome to another exciting adventure. Kenny's Kitchen with your boy Young Kitchen. That'd be me, this cat. And if you're new to the kitchen, welcome to Kenny's Kitchen, baby. It's all about flavor here. That being said, like, share, subscribe. We greatly appreciate the love. That being said, I was inspired for the first time this year, Taco Tuesday, right? So that's what I want to share with y'all, man, with no further ado. It's the uh, it's a chicken bitter taco, right? Uh, went viral, a whole bunch of places. I'm seeing it all over the place, so you know I had to take a stab at it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we about to do. Take a stab at it, you about to see it. We about to do it. Right here, right now, Kenny's Kitchen. Taste this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Okay, family, so getting started. What we have here, a few simple ingredients on this crowded uh, cutting board. I got a couple of uh, tomatoes, just rough chopped. I got uh, about a half an onion, diced up. Got about seven uh, cloves of garlic that you're gonna see what's gonna happen later. I got some dry ingredients, some um, coriander and some uh, black peppercorns. Uh, oh, one of the stars is the chicken, right? So, so um, we uh, gonna use chicken for this one. So instead of, I'm actually gonna cheat on this one. So. Uh, I got a new smoker that I'm gonna show y'all in, in an episode or two. And I t had to test it out first. So I smoked some chicken and it came out great. So I'm gonna use this and shred this. Then I got a couple of different peppers. Now what I have here is some uh, chili uh, guajillo. Got about five uh, pieces of that that I cut the the, uh, the stem off and got most of the seeds out. And then I got some, some chili ancho, if I'm pronouncing it correct. And uh, with no further ado, though, we're going to get to a big pot and show you how this big uh, situation gets started. Let's go. OK, people. So in a Dutch oven or a large uh, pot like I got here, what, first, what we want to do is toast the uh, our spices. So and that's the uh, that's our teaspoon of coriander and uh, black peppercorns. And then to that. I'm gonna add, I got a cinnamon stick that I just chopped up. And then we're gonna add about a teaspoon, well, a tablespoon of um, of uh, cumin seed. I don't have any cumin seeds on me. Actually, I do have some cumin. No, I don't, that's fennel. So I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon of uh, dry cumin and it's gonna work. And we're just gonna let this go, move it around a little bit. I'm not gonna add anything to it. And we got this over medium heat, just take a little, a little something moody, uh, move it around. You see, you're starting to see the smoke, starting to smoke a little bit. And this only takes maybe about 45 seconds to a minute. Once you start to smell the dry ingredients and it becomes fragrant, you just wanna take it out and put it on the plate and set it to the side. All right, next step. All right, next step. Remember that chicken? I, uh, I had a few pieces, I just showed you one piece, but I, I did a rough shred on it and I'm gonna add it to the pan. We're gonna get a nice little sear on it. It's already done, so you're not gonna need a whole lot. And uh, we're gonna let this go for about, uh, about two, three minutes. Just so we get a nice little, you know, little balance. Okay, people, once that's done, we're gonna uh, remove the chicken, put it on the plate, but we're gonna leave any drippings in here. But we're gonna get to the sauce, all right? Let's go. All right. We're gonna add a, just a little bit of oil to the drippings here, maybe about a tablespoon or so. And then we're gonna add our onions to the mix. Move them babies around a little bit, just until they get fragrant. About 30 seconds or so, I've got a couple boy in here. Going up out of there, boy. All right. Next, we're gonna add our spice back to the mix and the chilies, the guajillo and the ancho. Next, we're gonna add our garlic and our tomatoes. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar. Next, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of dried oregano. Next, about a teaspoon of paprika and a teaspoon of dried thyme, thyme to the mix. 
And let's add some uh, some broth, some chicken broth. And that's about, about two and a half cups. Then we're gonna get this thing a stir. And we're just gonna let this go. And I got I brought it up to a medium high heat. I'm gonna stir everything in there. I'm gonna put a, a lid on it for a minute and I'm gonna let it go for about, about 10 minutes. And we'll be back. All right, people, we're gonna take that top off. And voila, what we're gonna do now though, we're gonna take most of this stuff out and just take, we're gonna do a little tester, make sure the peppers are nice and soft. So we're gonna take most of these ingredients out and put them into a food processor or a blender. I'm gonna start with these. I'm gonna take my little tongs and grab these out, the big pieces. And then I'm gonna just kind of sift the rest of this stuff out. All right. I'll scoop up all of these tomatoes, tomatoes, and the garlic. Get all that garlic. And we're gonna scoop all of it up in there. Then we're gonna give it a good blend. All right. Now we got all of that out. We're gonna add the chicken back to the mix. Give it a quick stir and the remaining juices. And it's already, as you see, it's pretty shredded up. We're gonna give it a little bit more shred when it's time to uh, put these tacos together. All right, and then we're gonna add our uh, juice back, our sauce that we just blended up. Okay, that sauce, see how thick it is? Oh man, this is amazing. And if you don't have a real good blender, I put it in the Ninja Bullet and it pulsates everything real good. Nice little puree, as you can see. But if you don't, uh, feel free to strain it. Get you a cheesecloth or a real good strainer or both. But I think we did just fine right here. So, uh, got that in there. We're gonna get us a stir. See how, I wish y'all could smell this, man. We need smell a vision for this one, people. We're gonna stir this in here. I'm gonna bring the heat. I reduced the heat to a low just because it was so much uh, steam coming up off of that thing. So I'm gonna stir it up, bring the heat back up to a medium, and we're gonna let this cook for about, we're gonna let, uh, I'll bring it up to like a little nice little medium simmer if it's a such thing, and then we're gonna let it simmer for about another 10 minutes. I'm gonna put the top back on. Then we're gonna remove the chicken to a bowl, and we're gonna leave the sauce in here because we're gonna uh, use a little bit of the sauce for like a little dipping situation, all right? Okay, last thing I wanna do before I pull this meat out, I'm gonna give it a, squeeze a little bit of lime juice in there. Give it a quick little stir. Oh man, that's amazing, people. And I wanna start to pull it out. We're gonna pull the meat out, put it into this bowl. Like so, get it all out, and then we're gonna start to build the tacos, baby. Let's go. All right, people, so in a separate skillet, we got like just a little handful of oil. We're gonna take us some white flour tortillas. And what we wanna do is dip them into our sauce. And drop them. And we're gonna start to build our tacos. All right, we get a little cheese. You can get you some quesadilla cheese, whatever type of cheese you choose. Put a little bit of that on there, like so. Of course, we gotta drop some of this shredded chicken on top. And traditionally, I've seen it done with beef. Oh, we brought his first cousin to the table. We don't wanna overcrowd it, that should be more than plenty. Then let's top it with a little bit more cheese, if you like. And I'm gonna actually hit it with a, just a little bit of pico. You can add some cilantro if you like. Me, myself. 
add a little bit of pico de gallo on top of that thing. Ain't gonna never hurt nothing. Then, just carefully flip that thing on over. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's how it's supposed to look. We're gonna flip it. That's kind of ugly, but it's gonna come out pretty in the end. Then we're gonna flip it, repeat the process, and I'm gonna meet y'all at the plating, baby. Let's go. And there you have it, people. There you have it. The burrito taco. Done right, as We always do it right here on Kenny's Kitchen, and I know y'all know what time of day it is. People, let's zoom on in for y'all. Be a little closer look at these things, man. And I just paired it with some, with a little, uh, a little lime. And, and uh, like I say, save some of that sauce. As you can see, I put a little sauce on the side. That delicious sauce. And don't be scared of the peppers. I know I put a, a nice amount of peppers in there, but uh, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a little slight, a little bit of heat. But you're going to love it. Promise. All right. That being said, man, we appreciate y'all for tapping in with us like you do every week. Keep on doing what you're doing. It's going to be a great year, y'all. We got great recipes headed your way. You know what I'm talking about? Be sure to check us out on uh, tastes.com and all that good stuff for the recipes and all the good, 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 good info and the merch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, drop in the comments what you want to see us do moving forward on Kenny's Kitchen. If it's fly, you know we're going to give it a try, right? That being said, we up out of here. Be good. Chutch. There you have it, people. There you have it. The infamous, the viral, the chicken, bitter taco, done righteously as we always do right here on Kenny's Kitchen. What up, Ken? Count Ken, little Kenny, he love them. He was telling me about these tacos. So man, we got it done, baby. You know what I'm saying? You come, Pops got you. So come check it out. That being said, man, this is the part why I got to salute y'all. We appreciate y'all for tapping in with us. Keep doing what you're doing. Take your peoples and your people's peoples. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all to share this thing on your social media platforms, if you'd be so kind. You know, uh, whether it be IG, Facebook, all that. Also, when you do this recipe or any of our recipes for that matter, be sure to hashtag us, man. Hashtag Kenny's Kitchen. Hashtag Taste This, Taste D-I-S. Again, check us out at uh, tastethis.com. We got the merch, church, and all kind of goodies in the new year coming for y'all, man. So y'all be good. Take care of each other. We hope we took care of y'all. God bless. Something I'm forgetting. Oh, yeah. Church. We out. <laughs>